Hi, I'm Donna with Armadillo Pepper, and today I'm going to show you how to use one of our favorite things, pepper jelly. With the holidays coming up, we get a lot of questions about how to use pepper jelly. Um, it's a really great way to make hors d'oeuvres and things for parties, but I hope by the end of this video you'll realize that it's not just for the holidays, that it's something great that you can use year-round. When it comes to pepper jelly, you used to be limited to the red and green stuff they sold in the grocery store, but that's not the case anymore. There are so many interesting flavors. We've got um, blue chip bourbon, which is blueberries and bourbon. We've got corn whiskey pepper jelly, a cup of joe, it's made with coffee, and one of my favorites is blackberry jalapeno. So the choices are endless, and it gives you a lot of bang for your buck when you're making hors d'oeuvres. It's one of those things that will make people say, what is this? Can I have the recipe? The first thing I'm going to show you today is absolutely the easiest hors d'oeuvre you can ever make. It's a block of cream cheese and I have put some blackberry jalapeno pepper jelly on top. I just spooned it on, put some crackers around the edge. These are little pita crackers. Um, it's super easy and it's one of my favorite hors d'oeuvres. The next thing I have here is grilled pineapple. Everybody's heard of grilled pineapple, but we just added a new dimension to it. We added a pepper jelly glaze and we like to use fruit based pepper jellies for our pineapple. We have here um, blackberry on two and strawberry on two. This is another easy uh, appetizer. I have some um, coconut shrimp here. You can either make your own or you can buy the kind. They have prepackaged in the grocery store. And jalapeno poppers. These are really good. You just put a, a bowl of pepper jelly on the side and then your guests just come and dip them. And they are delicious. Another easy option is meatballs. We have used the frozen prepared meatballs and we took some and we wrapped them in bacon and skewered them, cooked them on the grill and while they were grilling we glazed them with pepper jelly. We also like to serve them with a side of pepper jelly dipping sauce. And then we have some just plain. You can uh, serve those with toothpicks and people can just stick them in pepper jelly. Another good option is to put them in the crock pot. Everybody's had the meatballs that they serve at wedding receptions all the time with the grape jelly. If you add pepper jelly, it is one of those wow things that people say, wow, this is different. And then you just have your little secret as to what it is. This is my absolute favorite way to eat pepper jelly on top of ice cream. I prefer vanilla, but you can put it on any flavor. I've got strawberry here, and it just gives it a really different punch. It's got a bite to it, but it's still sweet. I'm Donna with Armadillo Pepper. I hope you found some new ways to use pepper jelly today. Don't forget to check us out on armadillopepper.com and like us on Facebook.